in July 2010, I showed a method on how to make a film strip using GIMP. The exercise was to demonstrate how to how the copy function would take any copy you make into a temporary brush. Also, how to space your brushes, brush strokes over a number of pixels. Uh, and then reload images and resize them to fit the, fo the film strip. The, the image uh, shown on the screen was found useful to, uh, on introduction screens for pow or PowerPoint presentations. And due to its popularity, I, uh, in my class I demonstrated on how to make a film strip using a filter in GIMP. So I'll close this one off now and make, show you how the film strip is done within GIMP. You have your four, we're going to use four photographs, you can, I've used up to eight in one stage. So we go to open, and I've got a folder on the desktop, named with the film strip, put it on the desktop, and in here there's a folder with film strip, that's it there. I open it up and there's four photos in there. That's the first one. And hold the shift key down and click the very last one. Now we load all four images into GIMP. Now it opens in four windows and take a little while to do. Some of the images are quite large and, and there's a small one there. Just mainly to show how they will fit. Uh, GIMP makes them fit the film strip quite easily. Now all four images are now loaded into GIMP. They all have their own separate window with their uh, own menu at the top. So you only use the menu on the last one that's loaded. It doesn't matter whether it's the last one or the second last one. You go to filters and you come down to combine and you see the word film strip. Click on that uh, filter and a little dialog box pops up. Now it's best to leave it in the default. It uh, You can choose the height of your, your, your film also the colour of the film is going to be black on the outside borders and the lettering in the film will be that colour. You can increase the numbers to say it, uh, that's number three on the film strip or four and then from on then on it'll name, it'll take them up to, to count. There's other advancing uh, functions over here but I'll leave them in the default but it's much easier that way. Now you notice the first one's already chosen in the in the right hand panel. We need to put the other three in there so you click on that one, hold the shift key down and click on the very last one and, and click on add. Now it adds them into the uh, right hand panel. Now everything's ready to go. We just click OK and it makes the film strip. It's taken all the four images open a new window with the film strip in there. Now you notice when I typed in the, the number 4 it would then went up to number 8 or 7. So it did the, the count of the four images. Now, now the film strip is in a, in a very narrow uh, window. So we don't need the other windows anymore. We close them off. Close that one off. You can see they're all sitting in the background. Close that one off. And we'll close the, the big one off as well. Now we go to File and we open a new file. Now this it knows that the size of the film strip because that's what it is there and that's what it's chosen. We want a big big um, canvas, so we'll come down to here and click on that one. Now it's the tem the templates. You just click on the arrow down arrow and choose one of the templates. That's the big one. Hit OK and GIMP opens a big template. Now we'll, we'll uh, increase the size of that template in a moment. We go to the, the other window, uh, edit, and we scroll down and we copy that film strip onto our clipboard. Now we'll pull this window down out of the way. You can, you can actually close it if you wish because we're going to work with this new window. Now we go to edit. That's our canvas on the, on the screen. We go to edit and we paste. Now that's our film strip now pasted on that big uh, area. Now you notice here it's a floating selected 
pasted layer, we make it a layer by clicking this icon down here. That makes it a transparent layer. Now we're going to bend this now, we go to filters and we go to distort and we go to the curve and blend. It opens a dialog box and you can see your film strip sitting there. Now we need to hit the automatic preview otherwise you can't see how far you're going to bend your film. Click on that. Now just take up one of the uh, grid and just take it up just a fraction not too far. Now you see how it's bent it. You bend this one down just about the same amount. Now it looks squashed up but it's only bent the upper uh, upper curve. So we need to bend the lower curve. Click the radio button and now you just grab that and pull it down to match the other curve there. And same with that one there. You just grab that one and take it up. And now our film strip is pretty even. So we hit OK and GIMP goes through and, and does the nice bend for you. There's our bend. It's nicely bent. Now we can enlarge that if we choose. We can choose the uh, over in the toolbar, the scale tool. We can scale that up to a bigger size if you want to make it fit the uh, the background in there. And then just get scale. We've got the bottom layer selected. We've got we choose the golden blend. That was the blend there. We choose the golden one. Let's, you just scroll down and you'll find it there. Now we just drag the blend across our image background. And there it is. A nicely finished uh, display. You can put in text there, whatever you choose. You, and then you and then go to the top layer. Right click on it. And uh, merge visible layers an easy way and hit OK just save your uh, film strip under a normal format uh, thank you for watching uh, rate the video if you video visit my channel you will find a link to a uh, printout hard copy printout on that uh, demonstration in a PDF file